What is going on, guys? I'm out here today with my brother, Micah. Me ancient. It is cold here, guys. Six degrees on the way here this morning. Yes, it was six degrees. It is December. Today, we are trout fishing. That's a good way to start the day. Uh huh. Woohoo! Then we're gonna make a fire and we're gonna cook some of the trout up over the fire. Oh, to perfection, just they're being slightly crispy. And while that's going on, we're gonna throw out some sturgeon lines. Ah. Ah. Catch some monster river sturgeon on the Snake River. Get a load of this spot. All right, so the first thing I'm doing is looking for some firewood. We brought some big logs with us, but we need some kindling. Oops. All right, guys, the fire is going. Now, let's get some fish. So we just have a basic bottom rig here, got a little slip sinker, split shot, and then a little bait holder hook. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a big trout right away. I'm gonna put on a whole big night crawler. Just like so. Right in the waterfall. Oh, my brother has one. Dude, nice fish. Look at that, bruh. <laughs> he ate it. Do you have flyers? Wait, I might have flyers in my backpack. <laughs> That's a good way to start the day. Uh huh. Woohoo! What'd you catch him on? Worm. Just a little bit of worm. Nice. All right, back to my fishing. Oh, shoot, missed him. Oh, he stole my worm. Look at that. Stole the worm clean off. My brother has another one. Oh, it's another good one. What the hey? Dude, I'm gonna head back. You're gonna be, you're done already? I caught this guy. I used some salmon eggs. Oh really, some I've salmon eggs? I've got some extra over there if you want. I just, just right along the ledge over here, you just drop it in and they don't even hit it. You can just feel them like, it's just like dum dum. And then they pick it up. Uh huh. Another nice, probably close to 13 inch. You can take the back. Yeah. I'm, gonna, like, I'm gonna get back, get my smoker going. You're gonna smoke here? Well, Mike is already done. I'm gonna take his salmon eggs, guys. I'm using some of my brother's Mr. Trout salmon eggs. Just like so. Ooh, salmon eggs. Whoa, just flipped off. Well. Well, well. <laughs> Santa Claus brought me something. <laughs> uh, whatever, just ignore him. All right, first try today. I'm actually going to keep this little guy because it is the dead of winter and uh, it could be tough out here. So I'm for actually a little bit smaller one to use as sturgeon bait later. You can keep up to six, and there's no size limit on it. You can keep a four-inch trout if you wanted. Still has to be doing. What the? Well, never mind. That was the one that got away. Well, that was a fail. Let's try this again here. Whoa! Guys! I wasn't sure if I could count on you for catching one, so I got a better deal. <laughs> oh my gosh, everybody's on me. That is a nice one on a yes. red crankbait. Uh, Dry Creek Outfitters, too. Nice. You, everybody's ragging on me today. Got one. Not a giant. We got a little trout here. Guys, I might keep this guy. Actually, I'm going to keep this guy, even though he's a little bit on the small side. And I'm going to use this as sturgeon bait later for some fresh, fresh sturgeon bait. So here's question of the day. How is it that trout get up that ledge and into this pool? Do they just like jump up or what happens? Anyway, let's fish up here. I'm basically just copying exactly what my brother did. Oh, I had one. 
that one. It's a good one. This is a this is a good eater if I can get him. Yes, boom. Yes, guys. Beautiful, beautiful rainbow trout right on the side of the mouth there. Excellent eating trout right there. Everybody can stop giving me a hard time now. Here's my contribution. Love it. We're gonna clean these bad boys. So there's the trout. He's all gutted up in size, you can see. And then you can see right here, I've saved the guts of that trout and I'm gonna cut the head off of this one. And I'm gonna use this trout head for sturgeon bait. So we have this great big 12 foot, two piece sturgeon rod. Then we're gonna add this trout head. I'm just gonna hook it right through the eye there. We have a uh, barbless hook. There we go, big barbless hook. Big eight ounce sinker there on a slider. See, I've got another one. Oh, beautiful cast. Guys, 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 already, already, I can even start cooking. I got one. You got him? Dude, I got a sturgeon. The guy's like, sturgeon. like five minutes. Oh, dude, this feels like a big one too. Is it? Yep, on the fresh trout head. That is the first time I've ever caught my own trout and then, and then used it as bait. Pick up a sturgeon. Very That's cool. epic. We got live action here. <laughs> Uh oh, it feels like she's on rocks. Uh oh, uh oh. Let her get you out maybe? Yeah, I think she's kind of snagged. Yeah, yeah, that helped. Nice. I just gave her a little bit, not not slack, but let her take some wine. See that, the first swirl. First swirl. Oh, there she is. Dude. Look at that. Look at that. Dude. <laughs> I better let you grab her. Look at that. Okay. I got her on her back. Look at that huge sturgeon. Grab her pops. I'll bring her over. Just grab inside the mouth or no teeth. Okay, I'm coming down. Here, here. I'll hold that, hold that. Okay. Look at this! Whoa! Oh, look at that! Ooh, dog, baby. Oh, man. This is one. Of, this is my biggest river sturgeon ever. Ooh. On that trout head, guys. <laughs> look at that right there. That trout head. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. We're gonna get a measurement on this All thing. Right, I'll get the rod tip right here on the nose. All right. There we go. We're right even. Put the GoPro in my mouth and we're gonna measure it. A little past where the rod joins uh -huh. together. Uh -huh. Nice. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes, what a fish. On that trout head, right there, five minutes. Just working our way up the food chain. Oh, that's fun. Dude, you're, that's You're dude. tired, dude. Look at that. Oh. Look at that beast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's I'm gonna let this go. Even. Let that girl go. This might be my personal She might thing. knock you over as she leaves, too. Nice job, Asa. <laughs> well, let's cook some trout now. All right, this is my trout, and this is one of the uh, trout my dad caught, so we're gonna prepare these for roasting. All right, so I scored both trout. Then we're gonna salt both trout. And for my dad's trout, if you guys watch my videos, we have Mrs. Dash's Southwest Chipotle seasoning, which has been one of our recent favorites. And on the outside, my dad loves this stuff. And then for me, for the first time, we have red hot wing sauce, buffalo sauce here. And I'm gonna slather this trout if you guys are new to my channel. I did this once before with a surf perch, just on one part of the surf perch to see if it tasted good and it tasted amazing. So I am going to do this now on a trout. Never done this before on a trout, but I love buffalo sauce. Let's put some on the inside. 
Oh man, <laughs> that looks so good. And then buffalo sauce on the outside, just like so. Spread it around a little bit. We basically have a, a hot wing trout, a hot trout. And then we're just going to stick it kind of right there. Maybe build up the fire a little bit. Oh man, ha, look at that. Beautiful, oh, smoke in the ice. There we go, and let those cook. And while we're waiting for that trout to cook, let's throw out another sturgeon line. Shout out to Catfish Cody. You know what I'm talking about. And to Aaron Forsman of Grangeville, Idaho. Thank you for the mail you sent me the other day. And guys, if you want to check out my trout shirts, I'll put links to them in the description below. They are so cool. So many cool colors, so many cool styles. Check them out. All right, let's check on these trout here. Oh, look at that, guys. That is looking delicious, smoking. That looks cooked perfectly, almost. Just have to flip it over this side. Let's do a little cooking. Maybe, maybe just a tad, a tad um, crispier. While I'm cooking my trout my way, Micah oh, yeah. has his trout going here. He has. Look at this. He's made. First of all, look. He's made this whole smoker himself. And then he's got cherry wood. Am I right, cherry wood? Yep. Right. Oops. I just knocked your fire over. Way to go. And then we have two trout hanging up right in there. One is in an eggnog mix and the other is a brown sugar mix. Guys, if you want to see how he did all of this, check out his video. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Oh yeah. Take these trout. Guys, look at how beautiful that looks. Cooked to perfection. Just, they're being slightly crispy. And we got the spicy one in there. Oh man. There we go. Oh, <laughs> the crispiness. Oh, nice. And then I'm gonna add one thing that, okay. to this. Add lime juice to yours, which I did not. Okay. Boom, that should be the final thing. Oh my word, look at this bad boy. I am so hungry. <laughs> oh my. Oh my gosh. Is it good for real? Uh, it, it, I know hunger is the best sauce, but this is good fish. Guys, we are digging this roasted stuff. We just got oh. into this roasting our fish. Oh my oh. gosh. Mm -mm -mm. My mouth is watering. I want to try my trout. Too bad. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Son, I'm telling you what. This is stinking good. Mmm. Oh, skim. Crispy skim. Crispy skim. Mmm. 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 And I'm going to try my hot trout. Is it good? Mm. It tastes, it's a hot wing fish. <laughs> it's good. I need some ranch to dip it in. Calm down I, the hot, the heat. Mm. You know, it's not too hot. I, I wonder if the fire roasts away some of the spiciness. Because mm. it's not as intense. Yeah, I think the fire roasts away some of the spiciness on this thing. But it is good. All right, guys, and shout out to uh, Nick and Cameron Banyai. All right, guys, so I uh, threw the sturgeon uh, head back out, or the trout head for sturgeon back on there. Um, it didn't, it got a bite, but the sturgeon got away, so I've added a whole bunch of guts from the other trout to, uh, to it. So let's see if that gets something. So we're prepping another couple trout here. We got this little baby one that I caught earlier, and then my dad caught this nice one off camera on a uh, he, you caught two on a crankbait, didn't you? Did yeah, on that flick shad. So we have another couple trout over the fire, and we have some stag chili heating up. In fact, I gotta stir this, stir it up. So we heat the chili evenly. This is fun, guys. We got quite the operation going on. We have got clothes drying out from where I got wet. We have buns heating up near the fire. We got hot dogs. Then we have our trout. I mean, I'm heating up my gloves. I got all my clothes wet from that sturgeon. We got chili. We're gonna make a chili dog. Like so. Oh man. One steaming chili dog going in. 
This is fishing food. We have another roasted trout done. Oh man, this fire feels so good, guys. The sun has gone down and the temperature is dropping. But to have <coughs> steaming hot fish, that's wow, steaming cold. hot too, man. Mmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. We hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Click here to check out Micah's video, uh, his version of the day in his smoking the trout, and we will see you in the next one.